Hey guys, I get asked the question all the time, Matt, what do you do and how do you create your videos? And this is kind of just a little behind the scenes about that for you. And I'm in my studio, of course, there's my backdrop I have that I've built behind me. You can see that a lot of times you'll see this when I'm doing my videos. So I'm revealing my little backdrop to you, which I've created uh, on this entire wall, you see, with, uh, with some wood panels that I built, uh, which actually covers a closet. And I just created that space there and made it and put some handles on it and, you know, made my own space right there. Uh, of course, I've got lighting above uh, here, which aims towards this way, which is a, uh, a warm light. And then, of course, in my studio here, I've got my main lighting. I've got a couple of, uh, of reflectors right here. They're um, high watt, about 1,500, yeah, 1,500 watts a piece on that. And then when you come over towards my secondary photo shoot area, it would be where I usually am at my desk, right? So I have a, a, a light here that goes to my desk area. Oops, sorry about that. You'll see uh, there's my desk area. Pardon the mess, we're under construction. <laughs> so, but typically you'll see it from a different angle coming from the other side um, when I'm facing the camera. Okay, so I'll use uh, the camera that I'm on now, which is my iPhone, or I have uh, multiple cameras in the studio. I use uh, Canon. Uh, I use Panasonic with my, um, let's see what I have over there. I have a, a Limix camera that I use as well. Um, I have some uh, Canon uh, HD video cameras. I've got an extra, extra webcams. I've got different cameras and they all are different in, uh, in appearance. iPhone is probably one of the best uh, when it comes down to um, just fast videos. Do most of my work with the iPhone, to be honest with you. I've got cameras that are a lot of money and I can use them, but um, it's just the convenience of the iPhone is amazing. So it's 1080, which is the, you know, the best you can get and 4K now as well. I do say in this video that you can shoot in 4K, um, but most people aren't gonna know the difference when you're doing content creation on social media, uh, specifically between 1080 and 4K. And the difference uh, you'll notice is size. 4K is a big, big amount of, of, uh, of storage space and uh, editing and rendering times are, are pretty pretty long. So it's not really that that required that much. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to do 1080. If you did like 720, 720 to 1080 is great. 1080 is really good. 720, still really good. Um, so it's gonna be fine. Lighting is important. So if you have turned my lights off, let's see here. Turn these off, you'll see there's a different kind of a, of a color. And then when you've got uh, stuff that you can do with autofocus, like on the camera, you'll see that my, my light changes a little bit because the camera's trying to focus on certain lighting right now. And when you're talking and moving, it fades in and out, look kind of goofy. So the best way to do that is obviously to have, have a good set of lights. And then of course, you can also set your settings on your phone so that the autofocus isn't auto-focusing all the time. Set it where you like it, choose what looks good and just leave it. And that way it won't come in and out all the time where you see things getting brighter and darker and grainy and you know, all that kind of stuff, all right? So that's some of the tips here. I'm gonna share with you in this article, you'll see as well down here, some links to a lot of the software that I use uh, when I'm yet not using some of the larger things that I do with, uh, with Adobe Premiere, um, even iMovie, I use iMovie a lot. iMovie is very limiting, very cheesy in some areas, but um, I can do a lot of stuff with that because I'm also a graphic designer. So the, the thing with that is that, uh, you know, they only have certain titles that you can use and transitions, but I create my own. So I do my own artwork, my own designs, and I could drop in uh, transparent uh, lower thirds and, and graphics and images that I create. And I can put that inside of an iMovie, drop it on top of my uh, stuff or do a picture in picture, however I want to make it happen. And I can have all kinds of stuff happen, right? There's something like that. But you know, a lot of this you can do right now with uh, two things. I, I offer you uh, the links to, to in this video. Uh, it's Filmmaker Pro and InShot. They're fantastic for your phone. They're really all you need. Uh, Canva to do a little bit of artwork. If, you don't, if you're not a graphic designer, you could do stuff on Canva, super simple. I'm a Photoshop guy, so I do a lot of my work in Photoshop, but uh, I do a lot on Canva now too, because um, there's a lot of things you can do with Canva quickly, easily, and integrates very, very well with everything you're doing. Um, so you can even use Canva Canva Stories. So obviously right now I'm shooting horizontally, but if I want to go vertically this way with the camera, it looks stupid when you're doing content because you always got this little thing here. It's all, you know, blocked out on this side, look goofy. That's why you just shoot it this way. But if you're going to do 
uh, Instagram story, Instagram TV, Facebook stories, things of that nature, it's vertical. So you could turn your phone the other way and it would fit perfect. But in Canva, they actually have a thing called Canva Stories now. Uh, they do it in, in shot as well. But they have templates that are specifically that, laid out for that for you for Instagram, uh, for Facebook stories of that nature. And you can be really creative with how you prom promote that, right? You can put video inside of there, pictures, do the backdrops. You can do your meme stuff. You can do all kinds of things there uh, really simply and really easy and upload direct to your social media account from that from that app, which is really good too. So there's a few tips for you. Um, and it really comes down to, to editing. I spend anywhere from maybe, I'd say maybe three to six hours a day on content creation. Um, from start to finish. And, um, you know, I do a lot of work and I do a lot of editing. You don't have to go full tilt. You can just do something as simple as I'm doing right now. I'm not going to edit anything into this video. This is just going to be a straight video, right? So the other things you'll see that I do all kinds of captions and titles and uh, descriptions and images I talked to you about before, that just all takes time. It just depends on how much you want to do, how far you want to go with it. I also talked about your shot. You know, I could set the camera up the way I want to here right now. And I've got a little thing I always keep up back here because I think it's a pretty cool little statement. Uh, but there's two things. One, one is that I could stand to this side of the camera and I have all this space right here, right? So if I want to drop in images, I can just drop it right over this space right here. And I, you know, it, it sits just well. Um, or I could stand off to this side if I wanted to. Then I've got this whole blank on this side and I could do all kinds of things here. I can bring stuff down here. I can bring stuff in this way. And there's all kinds of ways you can do things. Now I have all this space, right? So I can talk about things, show you things all right here by just creating uh, uh, two steps to my left or my right. And now you've got a completely different look. Uh, it's very simple. So um, these are a few tips for you today that I know a lot of people have been asking questions on how to do content. How do I do? What do I do? What software do I use? And I'm hoping you'll find these uh, these tips helpful and something that you can start working with for yourself. Um, there's another app out there that I share with people that not, pe not many people know about. It's called headliner.app. It's not .com, but headliner.app. And it's fantastic for a lot of you podcasters and video creators that are really don't have time for video you don't really think you got the goods to make it happen, uh, but you still want to get it done. Uh, it goes from that level to, to really great expert level stuff. So like you take a podcast, for example, audio, um, you can drop that audio into Headliner. It will take the audio, it will caption everything, and then it will select uh, images and videos that go along with what you've said and create a video for you, which is crazy awesome, right? You can take a podcast. Uh, you know, 30 minute, 40 minute, hour long podcast, drop it in headliner. It will do some captioning for you. It'll put a background in there. It'll do little uh, lines when you're talking, right? All kinds of stuff that's on there. It's really cool. Headliner.app. Check that one out too. I think you'll like that one a lot. All right. So there's a lot of links there. If you have questions, uh, hit me up down here in the comment section of this article. I think that'd be a great place to have the conversation. If there's any ways that I can help you out with that or, or move forward into content creation, there's obviously a lot of other work that goes into it. This is just basically to help you understand how to get started, how to move. There's no reason why anyone can't do video. There's no reason why you can't make it happen on your phone today. So that's the way to start is just to start. Have something to say, be clear about what you're saying and knock it out of the park. People will love it. Just like I hope you're over this. All right, talk to you soon all. Comments down below. If you have questions about uh, stuff with video, video editing, content creation, some of the links, uh, how to do things. I'll do my best to answer every question that comes in. God bless you.